Hi, everyone. We are coming at you with some art activities for spring break. And today we're going to be making a snowflake that is inspired by the artist Sandy Skoglin's winter installation at the McNay Art Museum. It's part of the current exhibition, Limitless, Five Women Reshape Contemporary Art. So I have some supplies for a snowflake, which I'll share with you right now. So as you can see, I have a couple of supplies. Most of these are relatively household, but um, I have some options here. So I have some glue. I have some scissors. These are pretty well loved. I have a pencil, it's not very sharp, but you don't need it to be very sharp for this. And then I'm gonna move these aside. I have some lunch sacks and I believe I have seven here. I have some brown ones and I have some white ones. Now, in my opinion, the white ones don't show up so well for the activity but they make great um, snowflakes. But today, I think I'm gonna make my snowflake out of these brown lunch sacks because it's a little bit easier to see. So it's a pretty simple process. You start with one lunch sack. Here, just have one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gusset, this, brown, um, this part that a little bit of a lip. I'm gonna take the gusset and I'm gonna cut, put a rectangle of glue here and then one line coming down. So I've kind of got my glue already shaken up and ready to go. And I'm gonna let some glue come out in a bit of a rectangle like so. And then I'm gonna make kind of a T-shape coming down here. Then I'm gonna take my next lunch sack and place it on top. And you want that gusset side to be up and the rest to be down. And I'm smooth it out there. So I'll do the same thing, rectangle of glue, one line coming down and place another lunch sack. And we'll repeat this process till we get all seven making a stack. So Sandy Skogland is one of the artists whose work is on view in Limitless. And what she does is she makes these entire installations, usually using kind of one or two colors. Sometimes there's people in them. Sometimes there's boxes in them. Sometimes there are squirrels or other kinds of animals in them. And um, they usually have, uh, then, she usually, then she'll photograph the installation. So the winter installation on view at the McNay um, is kind of a snowy, env snowy environment, which is a little bit different for South Texas. We don't really have a lot of snow here. I'm just checking to see where I am. I have one, one lunch stack. Let's see. One, two, three, five, four and I want to get to seven. I can move a little bit faster here. Five. I guess my glue is coming a little bit to the end. Here's six. You know, if you don't have um, if you don't have Elmer's glue, but you have a glue stick, that should probably work too. 
I've done it with a glue stick. And sometimes if you're using white bags, um, the glue can be a little bit easier to see. I think I have my stack of bags. And I'll set my glue aside for just a second. I'm going to count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. And again, the gusset part is on top. Now, what I like to do is take the part that the open ended part, fold it down like this. And then I kind of mark that with a pencil. That's all you really need the pencil for. And then we're going to start cutting. And for this activity, we're actually going to spend the majority of our time cutting our paper. So I'm cutting through all seven bags. If you have scissors that wouldn't easily cut through all seven bags, that is okay. You can do a little bit at a time. I'm gonna turn it again here. And just keep in mind, I'm cutting the part of the bag that's open. So if we're gonna put our lunch in here, I'm cutting that open part of the paper bag. Voila. Not perfect, but you can see so it looks like I cut a little further on this side than I did on this side. So I might try to, I might try to make that look a little nicer. We'll see if I can cut a little bit more paper off. Make it look a tiny bit more pointy. You know, the nice thing about doing some of these activities is you can try it one way and if it doesn't work, you can fix it. Okay. So the best thing in my mind about snowflakes is that they come in um, really all shapes and sizes. So sometimes you might wanna do the same type of cuts on either side of your bag. And sometimes you might wanna make them a little bit asymmetrical. I haven't tried that. So what I think I'm gonna do is make them a little bit asymmetrical. I'm gonna do a cut, I'm gonna do a big triangle here. And again, not exactly perfect. And then on the other side, I think I might do two small ones. So I've just kind of sketched it out with my pencil. And again, if I, I, I have some flexibility to change my mind. Again, it can be really hard to cut through all seven bags. So you could do a little bit at a time. In fact, I might try that and see. Yeah, that's actually easier. So I just, um, I'm just gonna make a little bit of my cut. That's just a couple bags. And I'll just pull it up here. And make this look a little bit nicer. I have to say that I did not originate this idea, so I don't want to claim ownership of it. The snowflake idea um, came to me from my mother-in-law who loves to make crafts. And um, so around holiday time, I thought, oh, you know, I'm gonna take that snowflake idea and instead of snowflakes, which we don't see very often in Texas, what we'll have is stars. So we took these paper bags and we made a lot of stars at holiday time. And then when I was, actually I'll show you a picture. When I was thinking about this upcoming exhibition of Limitless, I was thinking about this artist and um, her name is Sandy Scoblin. And so I wanted, I'll turn it the other way. Oh no, that's right. So I was thinking about Sandy Skoglin and one of the things that she does, here's one of her installations. The entire 
cocktail party is full of cheese doodles. We'll have a brand new installation by for the installation at the McNay. And instead of, um, and, and so she's built the entire installation to look like a winter scene. And so I was thinking that snowflakes would be really appropriate for the winter scene. There we go. All right, so I have a little bit of a mess. We can repurpose these for another art activity, but at the moment, I'm just gonna slide them out of the way. I must have used a lot of glue. And here's my um, snowflake again. And, uh, and like I said, I'm using brown because um, I think it's a little bit easier to see. And I have a little bit of an irregular cut. So big one on one side, too small on the other side. And then my gusset facing up. We took our time making sure that we glued all of our papers together. This part is the most fun part of the activity. You're gonna wanna take one hand, the top, and you're gonna accordion style open up your snowflake. And I'm gonna try to turn it so that you can see what the result looks like. Too big for um, of too big where we are with our document camera. But basically, what happens when you open it all the way up is that you're able to see those snowflakes come together. Maybe if we do it this way, you can kind of see it. So we'll open it up like so, and then I like to put one hand in each of the bags. A little bit of glue here so that we can glue these last parts of our snowflake together. kind of have to hold it. Um, you can see where my hands are holding the insides of the bag. I'm holding it together so that we can give our snowflake a little bit of an opportunity to get glued, glued up tight. Okay, let's see if I can adjust my camera a little bit so you can see the whole thing. There we go. Now you can kind of see the inside of the snowflake. That's where all those gussets were. And then different parts of the snowflake. Put this down again. And just quick reminder, it's a pretty easy activity to do with glue, pencil, scissors, and seven of these lunch sacks. So join us all week as we share a different activity Paired with each artist in the exhibition. Just as a reminder, today we were focusing on this contemporary artist, Sandy Skoglund, right here. All right. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy making your giant snowflakes. <laughs>